Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and Cedric here, CR Wrestling Commentary, and we will be giving our thoughts on Mercedes Monet. This was, I don't know what happened, but Cedric was uh, provoked to start talking about her. I think we was listening to Jim Cornette, and they started talking about it, and you were just like, let me tell you something. Yeah, so her interest into the company is very similar to, is it Soraya? Is that how you say yeah, her Yeah, Soraya. Name? They keep calling her Soraya. Because they're nasally, but no, it's Soraya. Okay, very similar to her. She was around for a while doing a lot of talking and cheering and all kinds of stuff. She's and the belt jizz girl. Not, who, Soraya? What, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Monet, I, ain't letting her, I ain't letting nobody forget about that either. Monet, uh, Mercedes Monet, her interest is about the same. She was around for a while, not doing anything, but coming out and like for the longest, I guess, taunting um, Willow. Per I se. guess she still had to get cleared to wrestle or something. Yeah. Finally got cleared, took the belt off Willow. Shouldn't have. That match was abysmal. She shouldn't have won, but she did. Uh, fast forward. Yeah, like, you know, Willow and Roxy. Yeah. So fast, fo- fast forward, and they bring in someone else from outside, New Japan Strong Women's Belt. She takes that. And they said that argue, uh, Cornette or Brian, one of them, arguably, arguably she is the face of women's wrestling for AEW. Ah, that's what triggered you. Yeah. So before, you know, Mercedes Monet was ever a thing in AEW, there was Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill was the face of women's wrestling for AEW. Mm-hmm. The the you know she had the TBS belt the a the women's AEW belt didn't have anything going on they were trading that every couple of months nobody cared who had that nobody nobody cared who, you can't no you can't even say who the champion was when Jade had the TBS belt no idea but Jade was a thing she was undefeated she had the belt for well over a year um, she looked good and for what she did in the ring she did fairly well especially in comparison to what they do in the ring anyway but yeah. she looked good she had a presence and her delivery of her lines came a long way um from when she first started out long. a long way but she looked like something that you would turn on the tv to see yep and tony khan lost her i'm sure he wanted to renew her contract I'm sure he didn't want her to go away. Tony Khan lost her. Lost her to WWE. So, the exact same... I'm not going to say the exact same thing is going on with the AEW Women's Champion. I mean, Tony's the champion right now. Um, But she doesn't have the pull or the draw for eyes that Jay Cargill did. Not even close. So, I think Tony had to go out and find someone who he thought might be. So, he got a former WWE superstar. Mercedes Monet. She is little. She wrestles like a a poor little luchador. That's what she wrestles like. If she can do the moves, but they're not quick, she's slow. She's not very strong. Her outfits are colorful, colorful, just like the women, you know, in Mexico, wrestling lucha. And to, her hair is colorful. Her face is not. It's almost like she's gone over her facial features with an eraser. You know, normally, if these women are going to have colorful outfits and colorful hair, they're going to do something with their face. Eyeshadow, eyeliner. Brightly colored lashes, brightly colored lips, lip liner. She's like she's got on pale, pale foundation with pale, pale rose lips. It's all washed out. She she looks like Kamala Harris and, and, and her makeup job. It's terrible. And it's like it's all matte, so she looks powdery and, and fake. Like the, the folks in the powdered wigs back in the day. It looks terrible. And then she comes out doing that same little stupid dance. And they're going to carry her 
like Orange Cassidy. She claims that she's the highest paid female in wrestling. Highest I paid think. to do what? What she's doing. That's a damn shame. With her name, she has links to some very famous people. Okay. And it was rumored. So that means it's questionable. But it was rumored that with that pool is why WWE was all like, yeah, we want you and we're going to keep you. And uh, she can use verbally that pool to get paid a lot more. Like, hey, you know who I'm related to? Hey, you know. And so it's like, I'm important. I'm famous. I can get eyes on this or that. And so, yeah, we're paying, maybe they're paying, Tony is paying her not just for name recognition, but for possible endeavors elsewhere in music or art or uh, something. So it could be that, or she just talked herself up well. I don't know. Maybe he's paying her enough to pay the woman that's doing her makeup and writing her promos. Maybe that's what it is. Pay you enough for you to pay them. What do you think? I, I, I guess it's all possible. I mean, if you're stupid, that'll work. Oh, this person's my cousin. So, do they want to wrestle? No? <laughs> okay, then let's... <laughs> I mean, who cares what singer or rapper is your cousin? Unless they want to come to wrestle, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't amount to a hill of beans. But, you know, that's me. And I'm not looking for action figures and Barbie dolls to put in my wrestling ring. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I think that's why everything has been handed to her this way. Because he's got to replace the egregious error in losing Jade Cargill. And you replace Jade Cargill with with a name that can't support that weight. Exactly. Because seeing how uh, I want to say Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, seeing how she wrestles, she doesn't pro wrestle, but she fits right in there with AEW, mm -hmm. and it. She come from the WWE side. They're trained in a different way. Their style. And she comes to AEW. And she's instantly doing their stuff. It just lets me know that. It's possible. That what truly is wrong with AEW. Is that they don't have anyone to tell them what to do and not to do. So when they go in there, they know what spots they want to hit. And they know how to predominantly take those moves and whatnot. But everything else is, let's try this. Because what they do in that ring that always messes them up is they overstay their repertoire welcome. They don't pro wrestle so they can't carry a match. They do everything that they can in almost a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So everything else is filler, but that filler is lackless because they don't know anything else. It looks terrible. They're just stumbling, fumbling, bumbling around the ring. I, I think that's what's wrong with all of AEW. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But it just seems like everyone gets to say, oh, man, I'm away from that task mastering WWE I'm I'm free I, I can just do what I want to do I can exhale oh, the freedom and then they just go out and do stuff and they break ankles they break tibias they separate shoulders they dislocate elbows break they break necks. necks they break ribs noses are shattered you know they get heavily concussed over and over again 
these things keep happening. And it's not like that in the WWE. Injuries happen. Hurt happens. But it's not to this level at this rate. And I think Mercedes Monet is one of those that could bring to light what's wrong with AEW. And the only way to fix AEW is to beat the living hell out of Tony Khan until he admits <laughs> that he has messed up and all he has to do is listen to all those veterans that he's paying for no one to listen to. That's not going to happen, man. He has got his Barbie dream house. He's got it. Mercedes Monet looked like her makeup is done by the type of woman that did makeup for the five heartbeats. <laughs> Where everyone was gray. They made all those dark skinned black dudes look like they should have been zombies. <laughs> yeah. They ain't know how to do makeup back then. Not for black folks. They knew how to do makeup. Not for black people. And they could have altered things easily back then. But they didn't because change does not happen because you are here. And you can look at Willow. Her makeup is great. She's got color in her face. Mercedes Monet doesn't have any color in her face. But she has enough melanin to have color. So they're trying to do her makeup like she has no color. Or she's doing her makeup and don't know what to do because she's so light. She thinks she can get away with something that she can't get away with. Or... Maybe she wants to look like some jacked up, narrow eyed anime girl with messed up lips. Maybe. Because that's what I see. I don't care if her lips are natural or not. It's some messed up lips because everything else is so smoothed out. Just like, and I know this is going to go over everybody else's head, but Phyllis from Young and the Restless way back in the mid early 90s. She's still the same person. No, I'm talking about, so she she got the same schneid lips and all that. Yeah, just, she's just older. <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to see her because it's been some decades. She's still to the same shenanigans, yeah. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I got Cedra away from watching Young and the Wrestlers, I was free. I was free. What in the world? What? You don't know. I suffered through that. You didn't have to watch it. You was watching, so I watched it with you. <laughs> that wasn't a requirement. <laughs> it was a requirement for the things that I wanted to get. Okay. This has been Cedric and Cedric for CR Wrestling Commentary, giving our thoughts on Mercedes Monet. And we want y'all to be chill, be cool, be safe. And if I live through the night, we'll see you next time. We'll see.